Hello, Dr. Slive Gallagher, I'm a plastic and reconstructive surgeon with a special interest in gender affirmation surgery. In this video, I'm going to talk about different bottom surgery options for trans feminine patients. So first of all, why do we have different options? Um, well, as most transgender folks will tell you, transitioning is an incredibly personal journey and what may be affirming to one patient is not necessarily affirming to another. And so for that reason, it's very important to have different uh, surgical options available to meet the needs um, of that individual. And it's very much so patient-centered care. So what we'll do is we'll run through the four different procedures uh, I offer and um, the four different procedures most uh, candidates uh, for trans feminine bottom surgery uh, will undergo one of these and so it may a patient may choose one procedure depending mainly on what's most affirming for her but also there may be health issues involved social issues financial issues and um, that may influence uh, their choice between uh, one of the four procedures so the first procedure uh, the most straightforward one is orchiectomy Orchiectomy is an easy outpatient uh, procedure. Uh, some patients, that's all they'll ever want or need for their gender affirmation. Some other patients may undergo this prior to undergoing a more extensive bottom surgery uh, later on. But um, the testicles are removed usually through a little incision about this big and it's an outpatient procedure and usually not a big deal. So that will be option number one. Option number two is probably about the least common procedure I do in my practice and that would be orchiectomy um, with scrotoplasty. So scrotoplasty just remain, means removing the excess scrotal skin and um, so some girls will choose to undergo this who don't have an interest in undergoing vaginoplasty later on. I strongly recommend as in the United States the most common way uh, to do vaginoplasty is using the spare parts down there which is the penile skin and uh, the scrotal skin so I strongly recommend that if there are any plans to undergo um, penile inversion vaginoplasty later on uh, that we leave that scrotal uh, skin behind but for some patients um, that's what they uh, choose to do and um, it is again an easy procedure outpatient procedure takes about 30 to 40 minutes and uh, the patient goes home the same day so the third option, which we've talked about a lot on here before, uh, would be the zero depth procedure. Uh, also sometimes known as vulvoplasty or zero depth vaginoplasty. Of course, it's not a vaginoplasty. And that just basically means where we're feminizing all the external genitalia. And for whatever reason, 15 to 20% of our patients do not choose uh, to undergo the vaginoplasty. It's less surgery, it's less morbid, it's less upkeep. There's no need for dilation, of course. Uh, so that's why um, oftentimes uh, those trans feminine patients will find that option more appealing. And then again, probably about 75 to 80 percent of patients who do go uh, undergo bottom surgery will undergo uh, vaginoplasty in the United States. Still, the most common way to do that is the penile inversion uh, vaginoplasty. So there you have it, the four options. And uh, I hope this uh, explains things.